I'm Arthel Neville. Time now for Sunday House Call. And hello, I'm Eric Sean. Welcome as always. Joining us as he does every Sunday, Dr. Mark Siegel, professor of medicine at NYU's Langone Medical Center, also the author of The Inner Pulse, Unlocking the Secret Code of Sickness and Health. And Dr. David Samadhi, chairman and professor of urology at Lenox Hill Hospital and chief of robotic surgery. Good to see you, Doc. Nice Great to see you. Good to see you, good. Good. as always. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with something really important today because it is the leading cause of death for both women and men. But doctors point out that many people don't even recognize the warning signs of a heart attack. There are several things that you should look out for. According to the American Heart Association, for example, chest discomfort, of course, but that means discomfort, they say, in the center of the chest that lasts for more than a few minutes or goes away and can come back. They also say there's discomfort in other parts of your body, uh, the upper part, like your arms, your back, your neck, your jaw, even your stomach, and of course, shortness of breath, and there are a lot more, Dr. Siegel. You know, how do you know if, you, if, you got, if it's not acid reflux or indigestion, or you just like feel, oh, I don't feel that well, and it could be a heart attack? You know, you don't know. And here's uh -huh. what, the first thing I want to tell people out there is, and I get these calls all the time, I'll probably get some tonight, people calling me with chest pain. And you know what I do? I send them to the hospital because I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to err ever on the side of underreacting to somebody with chest pain. So somebody has chest pain and I don't know them. Now, there are scenarios, Eric, where I've worked somebody up 10 times. They've had stress tests. I know that it's, they're burping a lot. I know it's esophageal and I might not send them to the hospital. But nine times out of 10, I will. And if, and if you're having that problem out there, you should look for doctors that are going to overreact, not underreact, because we always say time is brain, time is heart too. Your heart is, is being suffocated from lack of oxygen and blood flow if you're having a heart attack. If we get you there early, we can send you to the catheterization lab and reopen is the it, artery. Is it always like a wham? I mean, sometimes people say it's like an elephant sitting on your chest, or is it sometimes like the slow... Constant that, that, and then, constriction. Yeah, and then while you answer that, are the symptoms different for women? Excellent. And then that's really important. First of all, let me just say that it's a leading cause of death among both men and women. 630,000 people die from this. But you're right. The symptoms, the way they present, could be completely different for men and women. In men, could be this heavy elephant chest pain that could be radiating to your arm. That's typically how they present. In women, Arthel, could be very vague. They could have a jaw pain. They may have some fatigue. They may be a little short of breath. They're going to the gym. They're doing the same workout, but today they're not feeling well. And, they're, and those are very subtle symptoms and signs that they need to pay attention. And there are ways to find out because once we see you with a simple EKG that shows your electrical pulse of your heart, blood tests to look for troponin and EKGs and chest x-rays, we can find out what's going on and that can, sa can save your life. Now, risk factors, diabetes, high blood pressure, bad food, high saturated food, not lack of exercise, alcohol, smoking. If you have all of these risk factors, you're at the top of the list to have this. You want to be checked what, immediately. Let's say, you, let's say you feel it. I was going to ask one thing. Oh, like, yeah. let's, let's say you feel like this thing. What do you do? I mean, if, 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 do you feel your Carotid. pulse? Uh, if you like, if your heart's going, are you okay? Or what? How do you know? Rapid first, heart rate. First of all, one of the symptoms of a heart attack can be that your heart is racing or that you have an irregular rhythm. That yeah. can come along with it because when you're not getting enough blood flow to the heart, your rhythm may go off. But to emphasize one of David's points here, he made an excellent point about risk factors. On top of that, there's the issue that men and women are a little different, but you may be having just fatigue. You may be having an arm symptom. Look for shortness of breath. Look for nausea. Look for radiation to your jaw, to your back. We always think it's the left arm. It can actually be both arms. Here's my point. It can be atypical. You're not feeling like yourself, especially women more than men. You're feeling fatigued. You're not feeling right. You're feeling nauseous. You're sweating. Get on the phone to that doctor and get to the hospital. Oh, the sweating. So That's interesting. You, I'm sorry. No, that is interesting yeah. uh, for sure. Dr. Siegel, thanks for pointing that out. But I ask, um, my question is, what is it? Is it difficult for doctors to misdiagnose? Because a lot of people are walking around with stress, under stress right now. Sure. So what if you go, Doc, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. You run all the tests. Can they miss that you had a heart well, attack? Well, every good doctor should start with the bad news, which is a heart attack, and rule that out before you go to anxiety and depression or rapid heart rate. And that's the key. Because once you take care of the heart attack, then you can like, entertain other things. But every show that we talk about, what do we talk about? We talk about the fact that there are a lot of salt in your food, and that can lead to high blood pressure. We're suffering from obesity and diabetes. Why is it important? It's important because the blood flow to the heart comes through these vessels called coronary arteries. 
When you have a cholesterol plaque, called, something called atherosclerosis, when the blood flow to the heart is not sufficient, now you have an attack on the heart, and that's called heart attack. And that's why the sooner you get there and diagnose it, you can do angiogram, you can put a stent, you can go on aspirin and other medications to save your life. And that's what we've talked about two things. I just want to point this out. The C-reactor protein, can just mention Good. that. I've learned it on the show. Good. And once we did the calcium scoring test, that can help. I'm proud of that you, can Eric. Help prevent that's, it. that's pretty good. <laughs> Both of those your... points are excellent, Eric. You're, you're testing us. You get, you're well, I'm, I'm, you're getting ready to <laughs> go to the doctor to okay. say, "Give me this, doc." Excuse me, that's okay. $25 copay. <laughs> you're, just, you're just skipping, okay? Because it's on the house call. <laughs> the answer to that, and David is going to add to this. The answer to that is that your coronary arteries are tiny. They're tiniest arteries in the body, feeding the most important muscle in the body. So we need ways to know if they could be clogged. The calcium scoring test tells you there's calcium in those arteries, and that shows injury has occurred in those arteries. The C-reactive protein, a little bit more debated, a little more controversial. It's an indication that you're building up coronary artery disease. If you have that disease, you're at risk for heart attack. We've got to treat you aggressively. Get your cholesterol down. Get your blood pressure under control. Make sure you don't have diabetes. Well, you can go to the doctor and ask for those two things. You can, but also remember, you get a score. If your score is low, that's a good news. But I also want people to know that it's not all of these plaques are not always calcified. So you may have a soft plaque that's not calcified. Just know about your risk factors. We, last week we talked about Movember and men's health. Mm -hmm. Know your risk and work on exercise, diet, and all the things that are thrilling you. I'm impressed with the C-reactive protein. Very good. Very good. Look how big it is. Look how skinny they are man. also. Look, these guys exercise. Their, their weight is down. They good. eat right. They're, they're role well, models. Well, not, not really. Week. No. Thanksgiving, <laughs> I had all that fried turkey. Yeah, Whatever. you deserve it. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Fried so, turkey? Yeah, New Orleans, that's what we do. All right, I was at home. Okay.